Today I'm gonna to do a little test with the Tesla to see what I can plug into the Tesla. So let's take a look at a few of the things I wanna test out. Okay, first I've got my MacBook Pro. I wanna see just if we can get a charge from the USB-C cable. I don't think there'll be any problem with that. Here I've got some of my USB-C adapters. I wanna see what I can plug in. They have USBs, HDMIs, and micro cards. So I'm gonna try plugging them in to the adapter, USB-C adapter, and see if we can get some music or photos out of there. Then next I have a power bank, and I wanna see if we can get that charging and if that all works okay. Here came with the, the new iPhone, and most people probably have these now, a USB-C to lightning that should obviously charge the iPhone, but might also let us read some data off it. There is the old style plug in the Tesla, so I wanna see if I get USB power out of that. Then I have a couple of hard drives here, a solid state USB-C and an old fashioned spinning platter. Not that old fashioned, but uh, let's see if it, it usually needs a bit of extra power to, to spin it and let's see if we can read off it. And then here's a long shot. This is an HDMI Amazon Fire Stick. I don't think this is gonna work, but it'd be interesting to see what happens here. And then uh, this is my old, old controller, probably 10 years old. Let's plug this in and see if it works as a game controller. So first thing I'm gonna look at is the game controller. It seems like it's gonna work just about anywhere. Right over here is where you can find the two USB-C ports. I'm gonna start with this one right here and plug that in. Now nothing changed right off the bat, so we do need to go and see if we have any success here. Let's go to the arcade and let's go to something that has, it should say supports controller. So let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna just go right off the bat here and click continue and we'll just get going and see if we got control. Okay, here we go. And I am controlling right and left. It is controlling. So we can, I can control one player over here and then obviously the other player gets to control with the steering wheel. So you can have two players in here if you just get yourself a cheap little controller and that should work out pretty good. All right, next thing I wanna test is the USB stick and that's going through the USB-C adapter. And what I wanna see is if we can get the sentry cam footage off of that. Okay, I'm gonna look for the sentry cam footage. So this gives us the whatever's plugged into the USB and it does say folders, Tesla cam. It has songs, recent clips. Okay, so it does appear to be playing audio. And it says loading error. So it does not look like it'll play an MP4 at the moment. It seems like that could be an easy upgrade in the future, but it does not even appear to be playing the sound of the MP4 either. The next thing I'm testing is a music USB stick. I've kept in my previous car, it's just a Kingston, I believe 64 gigabyte. And let's just see what it does as far as music goes. So if I come up here, there is the music on the USB stick. So it's organized by songs, artists, albums, and then also I can go into folders. So I did sort of organize my own stick here and I can just start it right up. If you can't wear a spandex jumpsuit, what can you do? This is B Rock. So that works as it's supposed to. So you can dance up a nice set of tunes on your USB stick and have those available for you whenever you want. And it seems very responsive. I mean, let's just go in here. Yeah, it just really, really looks good as far as responsiveness. So here I'm testing out a micro SD card through the USB-C adapter. It plugs in and it does read the folders. I'm not sure if I've removed these photos, but it does not seem to be showing any photos here. It is again showing the MP4, but not playing any audio or uh, 
the timer is not moving and now we get a loading error here. So if there were any songs, it would find them, but yeah, nothing, uh, nothing else. I'm now trying a Western digital hard drive, the not solid state. And let's see if we get any kind of uh, success here. So it says USB C device. Okay. Okay. So this has videos on it. It does look like it's reading it, but it is not displaying anything that's on this current drive that I guess it just can't read it. So it's just ignoring it. So it is powering it and yes, yes you, could, you could have a ton of songs, but only that. I'm now plugging in the Samsung 500 gigabyte solid state drive with a direct USB-C connection and it is taking some time to load up now I don't know if that's because I have there's a lot of a lot of folders and files on this one so I wonder if that's what's taking it so long okay we finally have it finding the Samsung solid state drive it says starting Let's see what it's doing I think it probably has to load quite a complex file system. There we go. It's now doing a load. That's probably reading the file structure. So this is kind of surprising. The Western Digital Drive I plugged in probably had 50 or 100 files in total in a single folder. This has much more. This is a backup drive, so it's got lots of folders, but it seems like it is going through and looking for just the music, and that's apparently what it's done. So let's go through. Yep. Oh, I just opened the trunk by accident. Yeah, it's clearly looking for the songs and audiobooks. Okay. So here's an audiobook. It loaded up pretty quick. It's a five hour long file, but it seems like it was able to pick it up pretty quickly. So just to note, there doesn't seem to be any eject button, so I'm just doing doing this, go over to the phone and then and then pulling it out. I don't know if there's a better way. Probably should read the manual. So now let's take a look at, now this is a micro USB. So we've got the traditional style lighter plugged in, the USB adapter, and that's running into the power bank. And sure enough, we are getting charge to the power bank. So you can do a charge from the Tesla battery to your power bank with a USB adapter. And I'll just unplug this to show. Cigarette lighter style 12 volt adapter. So I've just plugged in the USB-C to lightning connector. It's in the phone right now. It's a iPhone charger. And I wanna see if it shows up as a phone and it does not seem like it is coming. It's not seem to be showing up as a USB device. I'm gonna try the MacBook and we plug that in. Let's see if we're getting charged. Sure enough, we get the charge bar. Nothing shows up on the screen. Finally, I've got the fire stick plugged in and charged here. We're running it into this USB connector, USB-C connector through the HDMI port and nothing is showing up. So I think that's clearly not gonna work. So now I've got two USB adapters going in and let's see what we see. Okay, we actually do see two devices. So you can actually load up two separate USB devices at the same time. So there's my Ugreen adapter, change, and then we go back here. So in fact, you can actually have two connected at the same time.